Hey, thanks so much for staying with us through the break. I've got cybersecurity expert, cybersecurity. Now, listen up. Linda McCarthy, she's going to talk about keeping our kids safe in cyberspace. Linda McCarthy, welcome to the Valder Beauty Show. Well, thank you for having me this morning. We are still struggling with keeping our kids safe in cyberspace, and I'm sure this is going to be ongoing conversation. Tell me what parents need to know. Well, I'd like to share some statistics, and that is the average teen sends about 150,000 text messages a year. Um, half of all teens, they don't think about the consequences of what they post online. And 62% of teens, they've witnessed cruel behavior, what we would classify as cyberbullying. And one in four parents, they're just overwhelmed with technology, and they're just hoping for the best. Well, that well, we know that's not working very well. What are some <laughs> of the, what are some of the tools available for parents so that they can kind of arm themselves? Well, sure. There are three things that everybody can do, and that is one: um, protect your equipment. Don't just take a computer out of the box, connect it to the internet. Make sure you have antivirus software installed, spyware protection a firewall, make sure your antivirus software is set to automatically update. Um, number two, social networking is not going away. So review your teen's Facebook profile and Twitter profile. Make sure they're not giving away any information about where they live, their physical location, about their school um, or home address. And then uh, boost your password strength. That's something everybody can do. So use non-words, combine them to create a strong password, use uh, special characters, uh, letters, uh, capital letters, numbers, and don't share your password with, ev with anyone and don't use the same password for every account. Okay, well that's pretty hard for us boomers because we can hardly remember that one that we assigned. But anyway, <laughs> one of the things I'd like to add, and I'm, I'm not a cybersecurity expert, but you know, I do, uh, we have lots of equipment. You know, I have hired uh, a college student and a high school student because they are on the cutting edge. They really understand technology. They understand what's the latest buzzwords, uh, what are the latest tools for Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and all of that kind of stuff. So you, parents should kind of get them a, you know, a consultant to help them. Well, here's the thing is that, um, you know, teens and kids in general love technology. They've grown up with it. It's natural for them. So it only makes sense. Um, there are so many needed security jobs uh, in America. I know teens that um, started out supporting security on their home networks, and um, then they got networking degrees, security degrees, and now they're really well on their way to one of the top paying jobs in America. And these jobs, there's not enough people to fill these roles. So in today's economy, it's a great place to be. And um, educating our kids is really, you know, one of the things that's important for us as parents. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I partnered with DeVry University is because they actually understand what it takes to get these students ready for careers uh, related to cybersecurity. And they're giving a, a free copy of my book, Own Your Space, Keep Yourself and Your Stuff Safe Online, to every parent, teacher, and teen. They can download a free copy of the book at devry.edu slash ownyourspace. And that is one way um, to help get your kids educated, but also, like you say, you know, they, and they may become a security expert uh, just by starting out on their home network. Well, Linda, that's very information that we can all use. And what do you want to send them on in relation to DeVry? Oh, sure. They can download the book for free at DeVry, D-E-V-R-Y dot E-D-U slash own your space. Thank you so much for those tips. That'll help my parents and my grandparents keep their kids safe. Thank you, Linda McCarthy. I appreciate that. Thank you.